Hi everyone and welcome back to Prefusion. I'm Anish and today again we'll solve few control system questions that came in gate 2024 from instrumentation branch. Before solving those questions, I want to say you that please do hit the like button if you like this content and also I've uploaded the complete solutions of engineering mathematics uh, from instrumentation branch. Do uh, watch that video and also say the feedback if you like the video then do hit the like button also and there I have solved one question uh, one question from differential equation that I have used a different approach that may help in the upcoming exams so that also you try to skip through that part and watch that differential equation uh, solution right so yeah let's start with control systems. So this is one of the questions. The, uh, this question is pretty simple. The polar plot of a transfer function is given for t greater than zero. Okay, t is greater than zero, and you have to find the identify the uh, transfer function basically. So what will be my t of g omega? Okay, like just by observation, you can simply see it. See it that my uh, real part is always constant. Real part is always constant. One. Where is my real part constant? here and here is my real part constant but in which direction i'm heading i'm direct uh, not my phase angle is negative phase angle is negative not positive this is giving me positive phase angle like if i increase omega i'm going in the positive direction and if i increase omega here i'm going in the negative direction also these two options if i make my omega infinity this will tend to go to zero magnitude will tend to go to zero is the magnitude zero over here no the magnitude isn't zero over here is the mag is the magnitude like this is also telling me that magnitude will go to zero is the magnitude zero no that means these two are eliminated this is also eliminated obviously this is the answer okay very simple now if you want to uh, like do it like this that my at omega infinity my angle is angle is minus 90 okay like if you if you tend to infinity what is my angle my angle is minus 90 almost minus 90 like it is minus 90 itself, not almost it is minus 90 itself so which is providing me minus 90 angle so if you uh, put over here what is the what is the angle formula over here the angle formula is this is what this is minus tan inverse omega t and this is not denominator so minus of minus this becomes plus tan inverse omega t if you don't under understand this this is a simple coordinate system thing i will not explain it over here okay now what is the angle of this this angle is also Tan, so this is tan inverse tan inverse this is also tan inverse okay and this is what this is simply uh, as this is in the fourth quadrant this means this is lying in the what this is lying with quadrant this is lying in my y is negative and my x is positive that means minus tan inverse omega t just like this but this was in the denominator hence an extra minus sign came up okay so this is minus tan inverse omega t and this is simply plus tan inverse omega t. no this is simply minus tan inverse omega t okay so these two are providing me minus 90 and these two are it okay these two are providing me at omega tending to infinity these two are providing me plus 90 and these two are providing me minus 90 so obviously i can eliminate these two now what between these so obviously if i do the magnitude condition or like if, if I do the magnitude condition or the real condition real of g of h of j omega for all omega for all omega will always be one and this is satisfying this condition this is this isn't satisfying this condition here the real part is a function of omega itself okay one thing what is another thing I can do my magnitude of g of j omega as I told earlier right omega tends to infinity should be equals to what infinity itself because here like my y uh, imaginary component is going to infinity but real component is constant obviously but the magnitude will be infinity here it is telling me that it will be zero it is infinity so my option c will be correct option c will be correct okay so yeah uh, this is how you solve this question what is the next question so for this question i don't have all the options okay whatever data i got i tried to compile it so uh, in the question, there has been a system matrix given. Okay, system uh, matrix. Uh, find system matrix A. This should be A. For which they have told us that the transfer function will have a pole at origin. Okay. Now, uh, what are the properties of system matrix? The eigenvalues of system matrix tells us about the location of poles. Okay. The eigenvalues of system matrix tells us about the location of poles of the system itself so if they have told us that one pole will lie at the origin okay one pole will lie at the origin that means 
वन आइगन वैल्यू ऑफ द सिस्टम मैट्रिक्स विल बी इक्वल टू जीरो सो वन आइगन वैल्यू ऑफ द सिस्टम मैट्रिक्स विल बी इक्वल टू जीरो सो वन आइगन वैल्यू ऑफ द सिस्टम मैट्रिक्स विल बी कॉल टू जीरो दैट इज वन थिंग ओके एंड अदर विल बी नॉन जीरो now if one of the eigen values is zero and if you have a true cost two matrix okay let's name this as a b c d what we know about the property of eigen values so the product of the eigen values will be equals to the determinant of the matrix so lambda 1 lambda 2 okay this is, let's name this as a will be equals to the determinant of matrix now we know lambda 1 let's take lambda 1 as zero then it doesn't even matter about lambda 2 then my determinant will be equals to zero itself Okay, so determinant of a is zero. That is fine. Now we know determinant of a is zero. Now out of like I got three options here. None of them are matching. Okay, this determinant was also two. This is again three plus two. This is five, and this is again uh okay. Uh, this is also same. This is again two. So I have taken one matrix, and the determinant of this will be a d minus b c will be equal to zero. A by c will be equal to b by D. Now, whichever satisfies this condition, whichever matrix satisfies this condition, will be the answer. Okay. I don't have the options. Okay. So I I won't be able to tell you. But whichever had satisfied this condition, this will be the answer to that question. Okay. So yeah. Thank you for watching. And do hit the like button if you like all the concepts and also watch that engineering mathematics solution for instrumentation balance. Okay. So yeah. I will see you in the next video.